Chasing your dreams is not as crazy as you might think. People always say, be more realistic. Don't chase these crazy grandiose dreams. You can't achieve that. That's gonna take so long. But something I started thinking about genuinely is when you start looking at all these different success stories, for example, different YouTubers, comedians, artists, all these different people, they say they grind it for five years, six years, seven years without a single nickel in their pocket. And then that ninth, tenth year, that's when they made their first million. So it goes to show where it's like you have to stay consistent for an extended period of time to give the time needed to become successful at anything there is in this world. They say it takes 10,000 hours to become super successful at anything, to become an expert at something. And this kind of got me thinking. People go to school for eight years. People then go for four more years of schooling. People go through school for years and years and years for the guarantee or not so guarantee of having a career, a job. So we go to school for so many years for this career, for this job. That isn't 100% guaranteed. It's maybe more guaranteed than, for example, doing something more creative, a YouTuber, an artist, a comedian, for example. But it made me wonder, if you spent the same amount of time in school that you did in these other endeavors, could you also become successful and quote unquote, make it? And it got me thinking, people won't bat an eye to going for four year more years of schooling or eight more years of schooling to get the PhD, to get the master's. And then granted, that's awesome. That's a great achievement. But people won't look at the person who's grinding for themselves and to be a YouTuber, an entrepreneur, or a business owner, or again, a comedian, whatever it is. But they'll look at that and say, you're crazy for having this large, grandiose dream. Why is that? At the end of the day, all it really comes down to is who stays consistent in the things that they want to achieve. Whatever it is that you want to achieve, as long as you stay consistent towards it and you believe in yourself, you're gonna achieve it. People always say like, oh, what's the secret to your success? Oh, I just never gave up. It sounds so simple, but it's true. It's like they never gave up their career or their dream of becoming getting a master's or getting their PhD. So why should you give up your dream of wanting to have your own business? You wanna have your own ice cream shop. You wanna have your own candy store. Whatever it is, do it 100%, believe in your idea. Understand that you have to do it with some intelligence. You're not just blindly doing it and randomly without any plan or like idea of how you're gonna do it and how you're gonna generate revenue for yourself or anything. But understand that you have to believe in yourself and with the thing that you want to do because you only have one life to live and that's yours. So whatever it is that you wanna do, chase that dream. And don't let the naysayers or people who are doing a different task or a different role in life distract you from what you personally want to do. Everyone has their own journey. Everyone has their own story. Just make sure that you're writing yours. People always say things like, oh, those dreams are unattainable. They don't make any sense. But say, for example, anytime you look at a story of someone who wants to become a professional athlete or become a professional at anything they do, it's a commitment, grind, perseverance. They had to believe in themselves. They worked really hard. And this, again, differentiates between practicality and passion, right? So let's be practical. If I, for example, say I'm a six foot individual who's never played basketball in my life, what are the odds that I'm probably gonna make the NBA within a year, two years, three years, four years, 10 years? Probably really slim, right? But if I say that I wanna do a certain task that I built myself for five years, six years, eight years, and then I wanna be successful in it, there's a more of a rate of potential success. So still play the game of understanding what the rate of success is and how you can become successful at it. Right? So, but don't limit your brain, right? So for example, you have to be confident. If say, for example, I've played soccer all my life, could you become a professional soccer player? Yeah, sure, why not? Why? You have to believe in yourself and everything you do. When you have this sense of belief and confidence in yourself, you're actually gonna be able to achieve a lot more than you realize. If you're gonna dream about something, are you gonna dream about the smallest thing? No, you're gonna dream about this large, grandiose thing. You wanna reach for the stars, the moon. But there's a silly quote that I remember reading when I was in seventh grade in middle school, and it was, shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you're among the stars. And it's true, right? You wanna shoot for the highest thing you think you can achieve. Make sure it's large, make sure it's huge, make sure it's what you wanna achieve, something big. Because if you're not gonna chase something big, then what's the point? Do what you think your potential can do and keep working for it. Don't just say, I want this and sit back and not do anything. No, you gotta grind, you gotta do that thing. You have to put 100% of your effort behind that thing that you say you wanna do. And that's how you'll be able to become successful and chase those dreams. Because again, it's only an unrealistic dream if you're not working towards that dream. Make sure you set those clear goals and have a roadmap. 
The differences between, for example, setting a dream about YouTube or being a comedian or these things, it's not as documented. There is a complete simple documentation of becoming a doctor, of becoming a lawyer, of becoming an engineer, of becoming a finance bro, of having a job as a teacher. There is a step, there is a method. People have done it so many times over and over again that you know the routine, you know how you're gonna get it done. But is information out there to do whatever dream that you might have? And for example, if you feel as if the what you're doing, there's not a lot out there that can really teach you or do it, you gotta do it then, be the pioneer. Trust yourself that you could be someone who can change the world. And something for me that I've noticed in my personal life is I realized that at the end of the day, no one's living the life that you're living or sees the vision that you're seeing. So as much as you can, you have to have this sense of delusional confidence that you can do this thing, you can achieve it. Because it always requires that person to really change and impact the world. The person who's so delusional with their goals, their ambitions, knowing that they can do it, working as hard as they can for it, those are the people that end up making it. Those are the people that end up succeeding. So it's not crazy to dream. It's not crazy to spend eight years to become successful at something that may not pay you for those eight years. People go to school for eight years and then become in debt. So at the end of the day, you have to remember, all you need is a plan, a vision, and a roadmap to your success. When you have that, when you start doing the things you've never done before and started grinding in different ways and applying the strategy, you're gonna see success. So you're bound to see success. Just believe in yourself and go after that thing that you want to go after. Remember, you're the only person that has to live with your decisions. You're the only person that gets to live your life. So make sure you live it to the fullest and chase those dreams. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this to all your friends. In the comments below, please let me know the times that you chase your dreams. And if you chase your dream and succeeded, and even if you're in mid-dream right now, what's something that's really hard right now that's kind of your grind, something that's really been difficult? And I would love to know what you think as well. And if I missed something, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below as well. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode. I'll be sure to talk to you again next week. See you later.